Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in Texas. When it comes to Texas beef here on the Texas Bucket List, burgers are usually our forte. But we found a big old steak out in the middle of nowhere that got us to pull off the road to check out a little hole in the wall with a long line in Leota. Smack dab between Dallas and Houston is the little town of Leona. Not much happens in this small community, about a mile off Interstate 45. But every Friday and Saturday afternoon, people start lining up outside the old Leona General Store. Honey, honey, honey. Conversation usually revolves around food. We need that recipe. Yeah. Sure, you know a man's not going to give his food recipe up. Because that's what people are here for. Steak, to be precise. Amarillo is too far to travel this afternoon for steak. Yay! 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 How many do y'all have? Five? Five? Five. All right. You built it and they have come. We've had fun. Jerry House bought the Leona General Store in 1998, and he was very familiar with what he was getting into. Our vacation was to come to Ma and Pa's farmhouse here in Leona. Jerry's family has some lineage in Leona, going all the way to his great-great-grandparents. Leona was so important to, to our dads growing up and to the House family. And so this is, this is how we look upon our contribution to, you know, making Leona a little bit better place than perhaps it, it was. Built in 1921, Jerry took the old general store and made it into a must-stop steak spot that only serves up ridiculous-sized ribeyes on Friday and Saturday night. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's the best steak in the state of Texas. It's one of the best steaks I've ever had. And I have checked all your bucket list things, and I love them all. But this is fantastic. We don't have linen tablecloths. We don't have the best salad bar in the world. Uh, but it's a place, if you want a steak and a good ribeye steak, uh, cooked on uh, charcoal outside, like you would at home, this is the place to come. Being in the business of beef was a new endeavor for Jerry. Prior to his pursuit of the perfect steak, his place in the world was on a pulpit. So the Methodist minister that's mastered meat in Leona. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> is it amazing to you to see people line up? Yeah, it really, it really is. It's, it's kind of like being a minister of a church. And you work hard to prepare your sermon. And you, so you get up, you go to church Sunday, and you, 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 say, you, you say to yourself, I wonder if anybody's going to show up today. Because nobody, nobody has to. And, uh, and I feel the same way here. You know. What, what if nobody shows up? But people do. And when they arrive, they are greeted by just about the whole house family. Couldn't do this without my wife, Cynthia. Cynthia runs, it's a family thing. Cynthia runs the cash register. Uh, our daughter, Laura, is a cook. Our son-in-law, Don, runs the cook shack. And then we have a daughter, Emily, who comes in every other week and is a waitress. And then we have a son who's the uh, senior minister at uh, Christ United Methodist Church in uh, College Station. And he prays for us. So that's his contribution. <laughs> but it's a family deal. <laughs> Even the mayor of Leona comes to the general store. Not to eat, he works here. You can't go anywhere and get the mayor to cook his steaks. <laughs> mayor Bubba Odin has been cooking ribeyes on these oak pits for 19 years. Is this how you won your election? Well, I don't know. My daddy was mayor for a long time, and I just kind of got shooed in. <laughs> now, when it comes to ordering your steak in Leona, First, you select your size. What's the process like? I mean, do you just say this thick, this thick? We don't have a menu. And uh, our philosophy, really when we started, was to, to do something like we would do at home if we had guests at our home. Basically, you order by the ounce. And trust me, it'll be bigger than you think. I'm full as a speck back tick, I'm telling you. We never weigh them. We just hand cut them. And we cut them about, about that thick, as a matter of fact, we finally weighed one about a year ago, and our 10 ounce steaks are actually 16 ounces. <laughs> so it might be losing our, a little bit of money there. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like your minimum? Is that work? No, that's my what, kind of man. That's the way to do it. And over the course of a year, it comes out to something like 46,500 pounds of ribeye. That's a couple of cows. <laughs> We're doing our part to help the cattle industry, I guess. <laughs> After just a few minutes, it was time to get this beef in my belly. Take a look at this steak. It is amazing. Went with the 12. Looks like we got about 20. 
that's normal for this place. And we're gonna cut into the middle of it to see what a steak should look like when it's cooked here in the Lone Star State. Medium rare, magical, marvelous, perfectly cooked. The smell is amazing. It's worth it because the steak is amazing. The people here are amazing. Well, that's legendary. Well, it almost make you tear up. Hey, it's, it's steak mashed potatoes in a salad. That's what it is. And people keep coming back. That is a thick, juicy, delicious steak. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's the country. It's what country folks love to eat, and it's done well. It is fantastic. It ain't going anywhere. This one's mine. So I got the 10 ounce, and you notice I, I just barely did damage to it, but it will survive for another day. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you happen to be driving between Dallas and Houston and looking for a big old steak, Leona is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Well, you know, Texans eat steak, and if you want a good steak, you need to come here to get it. 